were several I, I loved, but if I had to pick one, it would be The Tawny Scrawny Lion, which I believe was written by Katherine Jackson and uh, illustrated by Gustav Tegren. I hope I didn't get that wrong because I'm a writer. <laughs> I want to give the right uh, attribution. I don't remember it all that well as I sit here, but what I remember is that the lion uh, is terrifying all the creatures in the jungle, and uh, they come up with this strategy for pacifying the lion by feeding the lion vegetables. And there are these luscious illustrations in the, in the book of uh, these creatures of the forest uh, making vegetable soup. And at the time, I loved vegetable soup, so I loved to see those carrots and onions and potatoes rolling into the pot, you know. And of course, the lion becomes uh, fat and happy and no longer threatens the, uh, the little animals of the forest, and, and everything turns out well in the end. And I think, you know, children uh, at that age, uh, I, what, was, what was I, five or six years old, maybe younger, uh, like stories in which uh, dangers are, dangers are, are neutralized, and that's what happens in that uh, in that book. And of course, the illustrations are beautiful. The guy who did them did also, I think, the Pokey Little Puppy, and uh, and one or two of the of the early Disney films, uh, animated cartoon films. Uh, Gustav Tegren. As a teenager, I really wasn't much of a reader, but uh, what I did read and like were mostly sports novels. And one I remember was by the writer William Campbell Galt. And it was a, it was a novel called Bruce Benedict Halfback. And uh, the thing that attracted me to it, I think, was that it's, it's about a young man overcoming his fear of, uh, of contact, of being tackled. And an older man uh, mentors him and brings him into football, and he overcomes his fear and becomes a good player. And so I guess, I guess the, theme, the theme here is... <laughs> <laughs> Overcoming fear.